Hello ladies and gents, Mr. Westfall here, and today I'm going to show you guys how not only to add binary numbers together, but also I'm going to explain how the ALU does this using a series of logic gate circuits. Please make sure you know how to convert from base 10 or decimal to base 2 binary and vice versa before watching this video. To add in binary, we just need to remember a few rules. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. Likewise, 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 10? Wait, what? The reason for this is because 1 plus 1 is the decimal equivalent of 2, and we show 2 in binary using 1 and a 0. So there is a 0 in the 1's place, and the 1 gets carried over into the 2's place. Before I show you how to add numbers in binary, I'm going to explain how the ALU does it using a series of logic gate circuits. The ALU uses a half adder logic gate circuit to add just two single digit binary numbers together. It is performed using the ZOR and the AND gates. Note that there are two inputs. There are also two outputs which are labeled sum and carry. The reason for this is if the sum of the numbers being added is greater than one, the number gets carried over into the carry output. Let me explain. So if we consider adding the binary digits one plus one, we see that the bit in the twos column is generated when the addition is carried over. So because we can't use the decimal number two, we have to carry over the one so that it is in the twos place. And if we take a look at our half adder logic gate circuit again, notice that both of the inputs are on. This symbolizes one plus one. And note that the carry output reads one while the sum output reads zero. So essentially it's saying that one plus one equals one zero. The downfall to a half adder circuit is that it can only add two binary digits together and cannot add multiple bit numbers. This is where the full adder logic gate circuit steps in. The full adder logic gate circuit uses the ZOR or exclusive OR, the AND, and the OR gates to perform addition of up to three binary numbers. It is essentially two half adders combined together. Note that it has three inputs, A, B, and C in. It has two outputs, SUM and C out. You can link full adder logic gate circuits to each other. C in input can take a bit from another full adder and C out output can output a bit into another full adder circuit. The ALU can link these logic gate circuits together to do addition on multiple bits. And if you look at our diagram here, you notice that the C output of one of the full adders is going into the C input of another full adder circuit. While this is very complex and somewhat confusing, adding binary numbers on paper is fairly easy. Let's take, for example, 11011 plus 10001. Starting from the right hand side, we add 1 plus 1, which is the decimal equivalent of 2, or the binary equivalent of 1, 0. So we leave the 0 and we carry the 1 to the left. We do the same for the second number, 1 plus 1 is 2, or 1, 0. We carry again the 1 to the left. We leave the 0. Now we're just bringing down the 1 because it's 1 plus 0, which is 1. The same for this. And lastly, we have 1 plus 1, which is again the decimal equivalent of 2, or the binary equivalent of 1, 0. So 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. If you want to check your work, you can do so by converting each binary number to its decimal equivalent 
adding those and then comparing it to your answer. 11011 is equal to 27 in decimal. 10001 is equal to 17. If we add those, we get 44. And if we convert our answer, 101100, from binary to decimal, we see that the answers are the same. The value is 44. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns. As always, thanks for watching. This is Westfall signing out. Dubs.